Nigel Farage will seek to cast himself as the voice of 17.4 million Leave voters when he meets the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, in Brussels. The lifelong Eurosceptic campaigner is due to meet Barnier at the European Commission headquarters on Monday at 11 a.m. 1000 GMT. Speaking on his LBC radio show on Sunday morning, Farah claimed the EU had not heard the views of 17.4 metres leave voters and argued immigration was the main factor that had driven people into the polling booths. I genuinely don't think Mr Barnier has heard the views of the 17.4 million people who stood up against the establishment, Farage told listeners. He went on to outline his opposition to the government's Brexit strategy of a two-year standstill transition period in which the UK would be subject to EU rules, without any decision-making power. We didn't vote for a transition period, we didn't vote to effectively pay the membership fee for another couple of years, but there are some pretty big issues we did vote on. His intervention underscores the pressure the government will face in fashioning a Brexit deal, despite the collapse of the UKIP vote in last year's general election. However, the UKIP MEP's claim to be the voice of the Leave campaign has been given short shrift by Barnier's officials. Stefan de Rink, Barnier's right hand man, told Farage to tone it down, noting that he was hardly the first to represent Leave voters, as Barnier meets the British government all the time. On Wednesday, Barnier is due to meet other Leave campaigners, including Stephen Wolfe. The former UKIP MEP who quit the party after being injured in a brawl with a fellow member in the European Parliament. Digby Jones, the former Trade Minister, John Mills, Chairman of Labour Leave, and John Longworth, co-chairman of Leave Means Leave, make up the rest of the delegation. The Leave campaigners, including Farage, requested a meeting with Barnier after the former Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg. The former Tory Chancellor Ken Clark and the Labour peer Andrew Adonis held talks with Barnier last year. Farage has promised to ask Barnier three questions sent in by British voters after launching an appeal for topics on Twitter. The hashtag AskBarnier hashtag attracted a slew of pro Remain questions that are unlikely to make the cut. Speaking on LBC Radio, Farage made clear immigration was his priority. I will talk about trade, but, also, the big picture stuff, why we voted to leave and what the key issues were that motivated voters to stand up as they did on June 23, 2016. There was one reason that motivated people who had never voted in their lives to go the polling booths on that day and yes it was the question of open door immigration. Barnier will be in lessening mode and does this not have a fixed agenda for the meeting, according